Hi, I'm Rebecca from Little Adventure Shop and in this video I'm going to talk to you about all the different styles of kids winter boots you can get. Okay, so when we're talking about winter boots, most people's mind goes to snow boots. And this is a classic example. This is Sorel's Ute Pack boot. And it's got all the key features you'd expect of a snow boot. Firstly, it looks quite cool. And then after that, we've got a good rugged sole here. And then typically this area of the boot here is made with a sort of rubberized material. Um, and depending on how much you pay for your boot, it's the key bit will be this bit in the sole. That's where the sort of technology is that helps insulate your feet from the cold that's coming up from below. Um, so there'll be things called frost plugs and that sort of thing that you can't actually see but they're embedded within the sole. The next thing about a snow boot is the top half here, the fabric part, will either be waterproof or water resistant. Um, it's worth thinking about this because if you um, have a winter like we tend to down here which is more cold and muddy than it is snowy, um, if your child likes standing in deep puddles they're going to get wet feet if the top is just water resistant. So have a think about that. Um, and the other thing with snow boots to think about is the insulation here can either be removed like it can in this boot or it will be stitched into the boot. Pros and cons with that are if you can remove it, if you spent the day wandering around in waist deep snow, um, you want to take it out and dry it overnight, it helps the boots dry faster. But if it's stitched in like it is in this little toddler snow boot here, it's just a bit less faff and it's easier to get your feet in and out of. Um, while I've got this little one out, I'll just talk to you a bit about snow boots for teeny tinies. Um, look for a nice big opening here so you can help get your child's foot in and out of the boot. And also a tip when it comes to sizing them, because you've got no hope of um, pushing down here to actually feel your child's toe. So um, you can always take out the insole and put their foot on it and then you can see um, how, how big or small the boot is against the size of their foot. Okay, so that's snow boots. Now, another type of boot, which is quite often overlooked, is a classic walking boot. So here, it's a waterproof boot again, so you don't need to worry about any uh, water or snow getting in up to here. Um, the sole is good and rugged, and it's got a square-shaped heel, again, which is a good point. You don't really want a rolled heel. Um, it's got some insulation, not as much as a snow boot, but, but it's still a nice warm boot. Uh, but obviously you're missing the height here. So, but if you've got looking for a versatile boot to get through a, like a summer walking holiday and into winter, it really is worth looking at. They, they could do like 70% of the job in snow that a snow boot will do. Um, and of course a lot more versatile and can be a lot more comfortable if you're wearing it for a long period of time or, or certainly walking for a long distance. So always think about hiking boot as an option. And then the third option is what I would call a winter welly boot. So not all welly boots are equal. If you're just buying a very cheap plastic based welly boot, it's not going to be warm. It's literally just going to be waterproof. But if you get a better quality welly boot, you've got a really versatile boot here. So it's got a good rugged sole. Um, it's got a nice thick base. Its comfort limit is minus 10 degrees centigrade, so it, it's built for snow and ice as much as it is water. Um, inside here is it's lined with a wool mix lining all the way around. And of course it's waterproof up to here and it's just no fuss. It's easy, you just slip it on. No nooks and crannies for mud to get caught in. Um, really good option to think about and often a bit cheaper than snow boots as well. And I've got another example here of a winter welly. Again, this is from a Canadian brand, Kamek. Um, we sell a lot of these, particularly in the UK, where, like I said, we tend to have more mud than we do snow, typically. Um, this has a removable liner, so it's about six mil thick. So again, you've got a really versatile, rugged sole, great for puddles, great for snow. So there's quite a few options. It really depends on what your winters are going to be like, whether you're going out skiing or you're just walking in the woods through the winter. Um, but I hope this has given you an idea of the sort of that where to spend your money and what's the best option for you. So I hope you like the video and speak to you soon.